Well, it seems like the third time is a charm for this storm for getting snow out of the, the, the latest round of storms here. We continue our team coverage this morning with News 13's David Romero, who is live in Santa Fe with the latest on the conditions there. Good morning, David. How's it going? Uh, good morning, Elizabeth. You know, we're not seeing any snow here in Santa Fe. Whatever tiny flurries we had earlier have completely stopped. There's not much even accumulation on the roads behind us. But what we are experiencing are the cold temperatures. We are talking single digits as far as the wind chills goes. Now, in the last few days, we have had snow, we have had wind, and today we have both. You know, we were fine driving in the metro area, and the roads were dry until we got to at least the tramway exit. Then we were hit with a wall of snow and snow-packed roads that were completely covered. And this may have taken the Department of Transportation by surprise as well, because the northbound lanes of 25 were snow-packed with ice underneath. Now, a few plow trucks passed us in the southbound lanes of I-25 around 3.30. Then we saw a brief break in the bad conditions just north of Bernalillo. Then it was clear from Algodones all the way to Santo Domingo. And the snow is sticking and sticking fast in some of those areas. It's real sporadic. Now, even if the DOT has a chance to finally clear the roadway, conditions will continue to, to diminish. And your best bet is to stay home. Now, throughout the entire morning, we have been mentioning it's not only ice and snow that you're going to have to worry about. It is the winds. There was uh, even uh, winds whipping our truck around as we were coming in somewhat of a uh, northeasterly northern direction along I-25. If you're going to be heading in that kind of a direction, you're going to want to watch it because those winds coming out of the east and west can get under the car and throw you off course very easily. Elizabeth, back to you. All right, David, thank you. So far, NewMexicoRoads.com is reporting that the only road closure in the state at this time is New Mexico 72. That's near Folsom, which is outside of Raton. Now, this is due to the high winds, reduced visibility, and blowing snow there. Be sure to stay with us all morning long.